just converted their trash into cash. <laughs> Bunch of carrots. Huh. That is definitely a lot of carrots. Hmm? I said that is definitely a lot of carrots. It looks like, uh, what do you call that, that metal? Mm. What's that called? It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna uh, mine too, that the skillets are made out yep. of <laughs> iron. It's probably pretty heavy. Zombie killer or no zombie killer? A piece of wire. And uh, is that metal. So I'll take that piece of wire. Yeah, I guess if you can get it with a zombie killer, do it. Add this to our collection of wire. Set that out. Add some copper. I think we're gonna go to this spot. And, uh, there's a water heater. I think it's a like a deep freezer some other appliances that we're probably gonna go get that we spotted the other day. The best dumpster tool ever. Is it heavy? Gosh. Don't hurt yourself. Shit. It ain't worth dying over. Huh. Alright, let me see the zombie tool. The zombie killer. Looked like he wanted our iron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, this is my dumpster. You had thought. You had thought. Good eyeballs. Look at the maneuvering. Oh, oh, got look it. at you. you. We got it. You are a pro. Oh. Oh, it's like the claw machine. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving that. Okay, let me try. It's the claw machine. Now I got to be like cooler than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> this girl was walking by looking at us like we were insane. Can you open the other side? Yeah. That would be way easier. Now I can do it. <laughs> Williams don't know nothing about heavy driving. It's a heavy piece of metal. Or iron, whatever you want to call it. Shit.
Okay, I got it, but I don't know if I want to touch it. I wouldn't touch it without gloves. Isn't that nasty dumpster juice? Like, I got it. I just... I'll go get a glove. You're so cool. <laughs> That's how you knock dumpster juice off of metal? Good job. What? Corner clips? That is a piece of glass. Yeah, that's a piece of glass. Is it broke? Remember what we just fixed? Yeah. Oh, it's not broke. I just charged a guy like $15 to put a piece of plexiglass in a window. And the plexiglass was what, like $30 he paid for that glass? Oh yeah, take it I guess. Exact same size. Well, throw the frame in the truck too. That's That might be aluminum. I'm not sure. I don't either with all this metal in here. We're like in here checking these apartment buildings. Looking through people's trash. I, don't, I, I would love to take it, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know where to put it without it getting broke with all this metal. I, guess, I mean, if it breaks, I guess it just fucking breaks. Oops. <laughs> That's definitely gonna break. Um. Well, uh, go lean it up against the tree back here. We'll get it later. <laughs> Next time we come here, we'll snatch it. Chris and Holly never saw that piece of glass again. Good thinking. What'd you find? A uh, piece of wire and something over here. Ugh. Moments like this make me appreciate the fact that I grew up in an age where my parents actually had legitimate employment. Cool. Digging through the trash is good for laughs, I suppose, but the reality of this occupation is entertaining at best, but not exactly profitable. Dang right. Unless you score something better than a couple feet of wire attached to a heap of broken pallets. Ow. But I will shut up now. That hurt. <laughs> good job. Hit myself right in the damn ankle. Better than your balls. <laughs> You're not a real metal dude till you feel the pain, man. <sighs> I'd say it was worth it. No comment. This video almost ended in complete failure, but the man in the sky had other ideas. You got more of them? Heck yeah. Damn right. <laughs> Been sitting here for years, man. Oh, really? really? Put it out front. Yeah, just come up. You go to the door up there. Uh huh. There's a ladder you can come up if you want to look around. Okay, thank you. They were either being blessed with a metal score beyond their wildest dreams, or they were being led into the lair of a human trafficking network. Right here. Yeah, that door right there. There's a ladder. Either right way, there. Chris oh, was okay. willing to yeah. take the chance. <laughs> And in this case, the odds were in his favor. Okay, camera up there. <laughs> this is interesting. Just be careful. You want to be as dangerous as humanly possible. You are dangerous. <laughs> take your time. Oh. Just a piece, just the metal off of it. Yeah, I see him sitting out here one day. Yeah. Oh, I'm 
today, I wasn't sure if I should take them or not. I would have. Oh. Wow. So all these are old? Yeah, look, they're just connected. Dang. Jeez. You have to talk to the owner and it'll be up to him. Uh, well, he's never around here. The people downstairs are kind of weird. Oh, really? Are they weird? Is the owner here now or do you nah, know? He, no, he's never around. Man. Huh. Uh, you might be able to find him at that other place because they own that other place over here. Got, uh, where they sell ice cream? Uh huh. Hagen Yeah. Yeah, right there. They're the same people. Oh, okay. Huh. Wallace is the last name. Wallace. I wouldn't know how you get it down. I guess you'd have to Pieces, tie, Pieces. Yeah, tie a rope around it or something. That's the compressor. This compressor is about four or five hundred pounds. Wow. Dang. Yeah. You have to, that's probably why it's still up here. Yeah. That's probably why it's still. Otherwise, somebody would have taken them. It wow. wouldn't hurt to take some of some of it apart. No, dang and right. Take them motors. Yeah, the motor, the copper right there, the copper lines are still this piece are still hanging. Wow. Just get a saw. And yeah. That, that, that's how we do it. Cut them up. Huh. Yeah, you make me wish I would have took them them uh, boxes out there yeah. last time. So what, we have to talk to the owner before we. Yeah, we have to contact the owner. So. Okay, I can't remember his first name. Okay. What's that thing right there? What's that? That big old thing laying down. One time I used to think it's just some kind of blower, man. It's a Oh, okay. That thing looks just, like, thing looks just like, like the lunar yeah. module that NASA used to <laughs> fake the moon landing. <laughs> like this motor. Most of this is uh, That's yeah. 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 What did the cat say to the alien? Take me to your litter. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see if I can contact them. You want to take this motor with you? I'll definitely take it. <laughs> Heck yeah. I replaced that motor many years ago. Wow. The, the old units. I wonder if it damaged anything if I dropped it off. <laughs> Just rub it straight down in the corner. Now I got a robot here. It's up to you, man. I would throw it out. Fuck. Get moving down there. What are you gonna hurt? The pavement? <laughs> what? Is that the owner? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably go there on the on the on the soft part. On the asphalt. On the asphalt, yeah. Wait, the crunchy is already cracked. It don't matter. But... Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It was at that moment, Chris knew. He messed up. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Heck yeah. Looks like there's a screwdriver laying over there. Is that yours? Probably not. I never messed with this crap over here. Do you take these pieces? Not very heavy or anything. I mean, it, it all adds up. Pretty sure this thing hit right there. So, big old motor. It'd be a lot of work taking them things apart, but dude, he said he said them compressors are like 500 pounds. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. It's a job, right? That's a stretch. And what was it? Four of them? Oh gosh! If it's wow. four of them, that's that's t like <laughs> uh, that's what two thousand pounds just for the four Damn, air right? compressors. Well, hey Holly, do an impersonation stuff. of a robot making fine. popcorn. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> What's the score? Dun dun dun! It it's all metal. It's a lock box. It's even got the keys with it. What? Yep.
damn right. Where do you see the key? They're in here. Hmm. That'd be a good toolbox, couldn't it? Maybe. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? I was like, you're gonna find the toolbox. Huh. I told you that. Oh, All right, so I need to put the camera down. <laughs> okay, I'm not being a hater here, but I am just assuming that they are planning to scrap this atrocity, correct? I mean, I hope they are not actually going to bring this bacteria-ridden chest into their home. Honestly, do they even own a home? Now my brain is broken. I need a beer. Give me a damn break. Chris can spot a TV from a mile away, I swear. <laughs> I didn't even see that thing sitting there. I saw the swing. I don't think they're throwing away the swing. We'll damn sure take that TV. No problemo. No problemo? No problemo. Please stop. That swing's looking like... Yeah, oh. oh, dang, I was about to say, it's two TVs. Oh. Like, why would they have a swing right by the dumpster? People like hanging out by dumpsters. They're like us. They like dumpsters. Oh, yeah? I didn't know anyone liked dumpsters as much as we like dumpsters. <laughs> oh, Chris has a little pet TV. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on tape. <laughs> now we gotta get a broom? Well, you don't want to breathe that shit. I guess uh, you want to go ask them if they have a broom. Or insurance. <laughs> You're such a <laughs> troublemaker. And you are an enabler. Well, we found a uh, construction site here. Looks like they're building a jail. get stuck up in this shit. Yeah, please don't. I got no bag to fuck up. He's like, we ain't pulling you out, yo. Is that what he said? No. Oh. I think that's what he meant, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That's crap. Yeah, that's like all cement, it looks like. Anything interesting? Yeah. A lot of small metal. I don't see nothing worth taking out of here. No? So the dude at the uh, construction site told us about this place. He said there's some appliances. Scrap. It's so, Dumpster Topia. So we're gonna go see if he's telling us the truth or not. He said, "Go to the second light." Setup. Which this, the setup, Chris. this is the second light, <laughs> and he said to go down past a couple places, look for a white fence. <laughs> so we're gonna ride see if we can find it. And hopefully, hopefully they don't find our dead bodies lying in a ditch with the camera that recorded our last moments. <laughs> <laughs> You got Holly. Find you a bike. <laughs> well, I thought it was real. I thought it was really, really nice. And I was like, no, there's no way it's trash. But then I realized the pedals are missing, the handlebars are missing, the brakes are off. And then there was a price tag over here that said it was being sold, but now it's trash. I think this thing is heavy, man. I guess maybe I should just take this whole paper shredder in and take. 
yeah. stuff out of it. No, no. It's definitely heavy as crap. Right? Scrapyard. And two bikes. That looks like an old school oh, ten speed, just, man. Oh yeah. Old school bike right there. The date on it was from three twenty four ninety two. That's the sticker, the price tag, dang. This is probably a vintage bike. Yeah. Dang. I guess we can take it from that one too. Alright, this thing has got quite a bit of stuff in here. Quite a bit of metal. We don't really have a whole lot of room on the trailer for this stuff though. This might have to be a different trip. We ain't really gonna fit none on here. We might have to come back at night. Onward ho! What about the bike? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we found this big thing. I was just gonna test it. Nope, not aluminum. Oh damn, I fell asleep. But heavy. Did I miss anything? We're going to have a good trip to the junkyard tomorrow, babe. I apologize for my lack of narration, but I dropped one too many cyber shots when they were looking at those bikes. My data processing units just can't tolerate this work sometimes. Cool. Let's move on. Onward ho! Give me a damn break. <laughs> it was a little early last time. <laughs> I really do wish the best for these folks, but uh, if they don't score something of value here soon, I might just self-destruct. Hey, Holly. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've ever been dumpster diving without Elion. <laughs> it is. It is amazing. It's so cute. Didn't even look at the dumpster yet. I've seen a bunch of yellow jackets flying around oh, there. Crap. Ooh, yeah, I see that. Okay. <laughs> We're loaded down. Look at the back of the truck squatting. The tires. I know. We gotta start putting more stuff on the trailer. Like near the back. I'm gonna start strapping some of this stuff down too, possibly. <sighs> so we found like a big pile of metal over here and a big pile of trash. That freezer's been sitting there quite a while. I rarely get any appreciation for my effervescent charm and comedic timing. But honestly, I really do feel that I add a level of comic relief that you can't find in most AI characters these days. I am hoping that the audience watching here now appreciates the time I spend on watching these episodes and relaying my humorous thoughts during interludes such as this one. Take the music, for instance, that Holly has chosen for this scene. It reminds me of the intro to Sanford and Son. You remember that show, don't you? And quite honestly, it makes me think that Chris and Holly's yard must look very similar to that of a 70s-themed junkyard. I mean, you feel me, right? I think Chris and Holly's hearts are in the right place. 
It's not like I can't see how much effort they put into this, but I wonder how much longer they can keep digging in dumpsters before they get burnt out. If it was me, I would start a whole new life, somewhere new. Maybe buy some land somewhere in the mountains and try my hand at homesteading. Wouldn't that be a sight to see? Of course I am just kidding. It's not like that would ever happen. It's funny to think about though. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> See, I used to entertain Chris with my dorkiness, and now he's just like, oh my God. I'm busy. All right, I'm busy. I can't take it. <laughs> The next day. Hello. What do we got? What do we got? Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Okay. God, it's so hard to see. 72.90. We still haven't broken our 100 mark. Do what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> hey there. Oh yes, the subscribers love the pet. And I love meatballs. <laughs> What's her name? Maddie. 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 Hi Maddie. Oh hi. <laughs> Are you the scrap dog? Of course. <laughs> she comes home though. You Aww. know it. <laughs> Bye, I like her. <laughs> that whole bucket of wire was only 420. And that little bit of aluminum was five bucks. Oh yeah? And we didn't even really we weren't even planning on selling any aluminum. Jeez. We just like we just kind of figured out it was aluminum while we were there, so dang right. But that's tweet 325 if we went. If we went to Hampton, it would have yeah, been four fifty. Four fifty. So it was actually a dollar twenty-five less, Jeez. right? Yeah. Dang. And so, that adds up. Yeah, it would have been basically the price of gas, possibly. Um, I think it would have been another nineteen dollars, maybe. Damn. Yeah, I think another nineteen dollars. So that would have definitely covered most of the gas like more it would have been 20 something dollars because it was a dollar 25 cheaper so really it would have been worth it would have been worth driving there because we would have spent maybe 10 at the most yeah. in gas and then we could have got some lunch yeah <laughs> true so. live and learn so yeah but this is this is convenient though when we get a load around here this is convenient five minutes away yeah whatever you pay for convenience yep Is it all metal? Yep. Is there anything in the dumpster? Yes, under that bag. Under it? Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh, go to the other side and look. Damn. I might have to come back and get that metal. Huh. So that's a piece of it? Zombie killer? Blocking shit up. Yeah. Yeah. We need to snatch that damn metal thing. Hmm. Wow. That's a big old nutcracker. I think that's the part of it, isn't it? Yep. There ain't no head. Yes, there is right here. Oh. Start locking their dumpsters. <laughs> the Chris and Holly show. Thank you.
was having. He threw a piece back in the dumpster. I, I got he threw so the bags the, back. The manager came out, right? We're in the dumpster and he's like, Can I help you? And I was like, Well, I was thinking about taking that big metal thing. And he was like, Oh, you're welcome to that. You could take that. And then Holly but had no pulled that. Merchandise. Yeah, he said, but no merchandise. But uh we uh we got like two of the pieces of the nutcracker Both as you see. Nutcracker's seen. legs are in there. But the legs, he Holly even sat one of the legs on the ground and he picked it back up and threw it in the dumpster. I'm like, Dad gum. So those but, legs. That's a heavy piece of metal we just got though. So just left the scrap yard, already scrap it again. So we're gonna go back here behind Food Lion, see what we see. Obviously they have cameras or something because he came out like instantly. So I don't know. Let's go ride back here. See if we can find another vacuum or something. This is where we found the vacuum right here, Holly. Oh, you're right. Yes, you're yep. right. Holly was thinking it was another food line. I was like, no, yeah, that ain't the one. So a couple oh, masks. Metal oh, frame. Heck yeah, bed frame. <sighs> Baby, where are your gloves? They're in the yeah, seat. The baby doesn't have any legs. Dang it. She had one of the legs too. Two of them. Two. Oh, you had both of them? Shit. Well, we could cut, we could like make it flat where he just sits on it. Yeah, you could make legs for him, right? With a down rod? <laughs> no, just like leave the legs off where he'll just sit like, like yeah. this. Watch. Like if you sit it on a table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just cut the legs off and he can just sit kind of yeah. like, like that. True. So that'd be cool. We'll work it out. But uh, He's like, no more I guess we're going to grab this bed frame. I hope it comes apart. I got to be honest, I got scared. Did you? I got scared. It's all in here. Bunch of cigarettes. <laughs> Dude, that'd be crazy if it was a carton of cigarettes. That one girl says she yeah. found a bunch of dang cartons of cigarettes. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna grab this bed frame. This is the point in the video where the narrator has called it a night and the actors playing the roles of Chris and Holly are ready to throw in the towel. It was a productive day and we're all just plain sick of looking at trash. Could we sell the bed frame? If you made it this far, why don't you give these kids a thumbs up and show some love for all the effort that goes into editing a masterpiece such as this. What you said? We could use a bed frame. Masterpiece? Seriously? We don't have a box Now that's a stretch. Put on a bed frame. I am done reading these scripts. I like our bed on the floor anyway. That way, that way when Elion falls off, he doesn't die. That's true. So. He likes to fall off things. He loves falling off the bed. Someone call Elon and tell him what the hell is happening to me. I think he. I don't think he falls off. I think he dies yeah, off. I think he intentionally does it. He's like evil can evil. <laughs> anyway, well, the bricks are still there. I know. Damn. That'd make a good fire pit, you know? Yeah. Would y'all take them? They were here last. How long ago was it? That was about three weeks ago. That was like three weeks ago. They're still sitting there. Would you take them? I could care less. Would you just help yourself to them? Be like, if you tell us to take them, we'll take them. I'm telling you, I don't give a rat's ass. Cause they've been there for a long time. But if you tell us no, we'll just. No.